This channel is designed for adults viewing only and certain videos will contain rated M for mature video games, featuring realistic violence, gore and suggestive themes. If you are not an adult, do not view the content on this channel. Don't go anywhere, stay tuned, get ready to take a trip down memory lane. An Atari 2600 controller can only mean one thing. We'll be playing the Atari 2600. Today's episode of Memory Lane, we're going to be playing a mouse trap. You can see right here with this Coleco cartridge right here. And uh, this game was programmed by Sylvia Day and Henry Will IV. And the uh, mouse trap was released in 1982. So you can see here, this is uh, the mouse trap cartridge for the Atari 2600, and it's definitely a Coleco game. And much like all Coleco games, they plaster Coleco nearly as big as the logo on the end label. I mean, look at that. You want to make sure that you know that you're playing a Coleco game. Why not go out and buy a Coleco Vision? That's basically what they're trying to prove right here. And I can see right there we have the uh, Exidy little logo right there, mouse trap, nice little red logo right there, and it kind of looks like a maze. If you look at the letters closely, it's a video game cartridge for use with the Atari Video Computer System and Sears Video Arcade. And uh, down here you have all the copyright and all that stuff. You're like 1981, 1982. And it came out around that time. And uh, I guess it was packaged. Or, you know, in Amsterdam, New York is where this cartridge came from. That's pretty cool. And the, uh, the contacts. I gave it a good cleaning, so it should be nice and clean right here. So it should play with no issue. And it's a nice Coleco cartridge look to it. Look at this. Coleco made in USA and Coleco definitely plastered the logo on every side of the cartridge possible. I'm surprised it's not on this side, but nonetheless, there you go. You have Coleco right there and you have Coleco right there. So let's uh, head over to the uh, Atari and let's play some uh, mouse trap. playing mouse trap on the Atari 2600. Now mouse trap is one of those weird Coleco cartridges. You know, it, it kind of looks like Pac-Man. What is this? Let's uh, try out mouse mouse trap. Oh my God! What the hell is that? Is that a cat? All right. So apparently you are a, uh, a mouse, and there's a cat. Several cats trying to get you. Let's see if we can uh, kill this cat. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. All right, so there's a couple of cats over there running around trying to kill me. Let's see what happens here. So uh, much like Pac-Man, you have to like gobble up all these little dots right here. I'm assuming that you have to get all of them. How do you get the dots in the center right here? What is that what you're supposed to do? Oh no, the cat ate me. All right, so we have like three little dots left over here and that's gonna be pretty hard to, to pull off. So we have like two cats. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute, did, did the mouse kill the, the cats? Oh my God, what the hell is that? Like, at the, what the hell? Okay, so how are you supposed to get those dots? It's gotta be like a trick. Alright, so... 
Whoa! What the hell is that? If you hold down the red button and push up and down, the, the, the actual map changes. That's really weird. I guess that is it. And uh, apparently, the mouse can actually kill the cat. I've never seen such a thing before. I literally saw the mouse kill the cat. That mouse has like uh, like rabies or something. I don't know. There we go. So let's uh, try this out again. And apparently when you get that little special X-shaped dot right there, like this one right here, I think that's what gives you the superpowers to kill a cat, which is not nice at all, but it's a nasty mouse. Alright, so there we go, we can... Oh my god, this cat's creeping up pretty close to me. I'm gonna have to do the unthinkable. Oh, oh no, it didn't work. Oh my god. Instead of uh, killing the cat, the, the map changed. Alright, so let's... Uh... Oh, oh, that stupid cat got me. And there we go. Oh, now I'm a nasty mouse killing the cats. Oh my god. Who the hell came up with the idea of this game? That's nuts. Alright, so we have a cat right there that's gonna try to do... Oh. <laughs> there we go, we actually uh, made it to the next level. Okay, so... Let's see if we can... Accumulate as much points as possible. This is kind of like Pac-Man. But with a, a mouse instead. Now, the animations are actually pretty nice. You can actually see the mouse ears and the his mouth is like chomping, eating stuff right there. You can see. And that's when he turns into a nasty homicidal mouse. And he starts killing the cat. Like that's definitely not nice at all. Like evil Mickey Mouse. Yeah, he literally has Mickey Mouse ears. I mean, look at that. Alright, so let's, uh, go over here. Oh my god, there's a cat right there. He's trying to kill me. He can't get through the wall. He's driving him nuts. He can, he can scent that mouse. Alright, so, so, uh, oh, this cat is acting really crazy. And, oh, he did it. He made it to the third level. Uh, basically, oh, oh my god. That cat came out of nowhere. So basically this game has one mouse controlled by you and several cats that want to kill you. And uh, throughout the game you have the ability to kill the cat. When you turn into this like evil crazy mouse. Let's try this again. Oh my god, where did that cat come from? Somehow he Jump through the barrier, that piece of shit cat. Oh my god. Oh my god, he did it too. That son of a bitch. Alright. I had no idea that they can jump through the barrier, but apparently now I do. So the cat's like kind of playing possum. He's kind of hiding it on the other side of the wall. Then all of a sudden he jumps out and kills me. So this game has a, a bit of a smart AI to it. That's actually pretty cool. Alright, let's get the old... Oh no! I'm gonna have to take this cat out. Oh, oh, that cat got me right there. That son of a bitch. Oh, so we scored 47 points that time. What's, uh, what other game modes do they have here? Is there any other game modes? I don't think there is. I think there is one game mode, and I, I must say the game's actually pretty fun. Let's see if we can uh, eat all this uh, these dots. They, I guess they're cheese. And these cats are pissed off. Alright, this one cat right here. I'm going to have to become homicidal and take the, the cat out. Alright, let's... Uh, this is a lot of cats. This person, whoever owns this house right here... Oh my god, I almost died right there. See, whoever owns this uh, this house right here has is a cat lady. She has tons of cats. 
Like, what the hell? It's a very, very bad spot for a mouse to live. So let's uh, run around and... Alright, so in order to get those dots, you have to like hold down the action button. And uh, I guess... The map changes different shapes. Oh, they son of a bitch! I only had one little piece left. The cat was a rat bastard. He actually got me. Alright, so let's... Oh, this, this... Oh, he's coming after me. Wow. Alright, so let's uh, move over here. Actually, this game is actually more fun than Pac-Man and the 2600. This game is actually pretty good. Let's go over here. So that's a simplistic point system. Basically, whatever points you get, and that's it. I'm at 231. And we're going to have to like take this cat out. Oh, oh! That cat got what he... Deserved, unfortunately. He was gonna kill me, so I had to kill him. Let's go around here. Oh my god, there's so many cats over here. Whoa. We got three cats. I'm gonna have to figure this one out. Oh. Oh, oh my god. How am I gonna think of this? Oh! I took a chance. I think that was it. That was, that was a game over right there. So, 269. Uh, this game is actually pretty fun. That is Mouse Trap on the Atari 2600, a Coleco game. And I'm guessing that's probably on ColecoVision also. It might be better on the ColecoVision. I wouldn't be, su be surprised at all. Uh, but surprisingly, this game is actually pretty good. I think it's more fun than uh, Pac-Man on the uh, 2600. And it is basically similar, quite similar to Pac-Man, but not quite the same. Now, if you enjoyed this episode of Memory Lane and you want to see more 2600 games, don't forget to give a thumbs up and comment down below. What a cool Atari 2600 game. Uh, I'm going to definitely play some more of this.